I am taking on the VMAX challenge. In order to complete it, I need to build a deck and win at least once with every single Pokemon VMAX. In order for the win to count, I need to have taken at least one prize card with the featured Pokemon VMAX or deck my opponent out. Will I be able to do this or will I rage quit? Watch the video to find out. If you're buying any cards from TG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello everyone, welcome back to day four of the VMAX challenge. Sharted Illuminate, and thank you so much for being here, guys. I'm very excited to continue the challenge. And ooh, there's no goal. Why is there no goal? As per the rules, you know, we are going to win. I mean, as per what happened last stream, which was crazy, we have three wins due for Malamar VMAX. Okay, we cannot move on based on the amount of subs that we got and to make sure that we didn't end up playing five hours of a Dragapult, um, I, we are doing three wins with Malmar VMAX and at least two wins with the next one, which is Copraja, all right? And so every, if we get three more subs, then another win or whenever we get to that. Um, you want to start this challenge to help your deck building? Yeah, I mean, I've seen other people mention how this is interesting and like a cool concept, so feel free to go ahead and do it. All right, so, hello Protissimo, thanks so much for being here. So Malamar VMAX, right? Has the max jammer attack, 180, pretty standard. Two hit carrying other um, VMAXs. Can disrupt, right? So we want a good amount of Marnies in this, but I think the biggest thing here is um, how do we get the energy to power up the Malamar? There's plenty of options, which are Rose, um, Leafian V, Seishan V, or there are two dark type Pokemon that accelerate darkness energy, which are Galarian Moltres V and the regular Galarian Moltres. So, but neither of them is like, neither of them searches from deck. Galarian Moltres V, you have to, they're conditional, right? That's why I don't particularly want to start with them. Galarian Moltres V needs the energy in the discard pile to attach it and then has to be transferred through energy switch. So it's two conditions. To, for the energy to end up on Malamar VMAX, you need the energy in the discard pile, a way to discard the energy, the energy, then transferring the energy with the energy search, uh, energy switch, or the regular Galarian Moltres, which needs um, the, ener the Galarian Moltres in hand, at least one energy in hand, and the energy switch. So, whereas Leafian V or Seishan V just bench them, right? And that's it. Just bench them and you're good to go. So. Uh, I only have one Seishan. I should probably get another one. Technically, Seishan is better than Leafian, but just so that I don't waste time um, searching for the cards, I'm going to choose Leafian, all right? I am going to choose Leafian for this. Um, and then I think it's just Intellion, right? Intellion seems like a good, solid partner to be able to search for... Um, only one of these. I don't think I'll need bonus damage um, too, too much. Uh, until then, seems like the ideal partner for this. This and this. And then energy-wise, I don't think we need, like, too many energies. Uh, well, never mind. We do want to attach at least one on turn one. So, 8-3 seems like a good amount. And then we have until then, we have Crobat. Our Malamars. So pretty standard from here on out, right? Um, there is a Dragon that accelerates, maybe. But it's a stage two. Yeah. It is a stage two. So it's once again, do I really want to set up a stage two when I can just greening cells? You know? So Okay, I'm thinking in case this guy goes down, like pairing up a second Malamar Remax would not be easy. So I'm thinking Rose will be needed. So I'm gonna have one Krikatoon as well. So my bench might actually get a little bit clogged, but so far this is what I'm liking. Yeah, might make changes. Might make changes, but we'll see. Yeah, depending on what we end up getting. So Quick Ball, Level Ball, um, Incense. 
And then I definitely want Air Balloon. Uh, two of them for Krigatoon, and then I don't want to use Rose Tower. I want at least one Rose. That That's how I want to power up the other Malamar, with one Rose. Maybe I'll want two. I definitely want two Marnies, I mean all four Marnies, to maximize um, the, the draw. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I don't want that. I want uh, Raihan. Raihan is better, right? So three, one, maybe two. Maybe two. Um, okay, do I want Path to the Peak? So never mind, I don't want you. Do I want Path to the Peak? It is nice with the Disruption. It also isn't great with Leafian, obviously, and Crobat. Um, I can choose not to play it, however, obviously. Um, yeah, Expanded, Expanded is definitely the best place for, for Mali, but... I feel like if Miss Magius hadn't gotten banned, um, Miss Magius would have definitely been a fantastic partner with Malamar and would have made it stronger overall throughout the course of the combination of tag team sets and VMAXs. Um, boo -boo -boo -boo. Scoop up nets. I reckon a couple scoop up nets seem good. I do want stadiums in this, but I don't know what stadium I actually want. Mm -mm -mm. Healing doesn't matter. Getting energy back when you retreat also doesn't matter. Um, tool cards. Oh, you know what? You definitely want tool jammer. Uh, you're not a. You definitely want. Well, actually, maybe tool scrapper. Never mind. Tool scrap. Tool Scrapper. Okay, I think I'll add the second dude because maybe it helps against basic Pokemon. I do want the Tool Scrapper and then what stadium? Uh, Manuel, yes. My plan is to do all the VMAXs live on Twitch. Therefore, I commit myself to live streaming more and then everything is transferred to YouTube. If I had more time, I would edit the videos better for YouTube. Um, but that would be... Uh, it could be Galar Mine. Um, definitely could be Galar Mine. But I feel like that would hurt me quite a bit. Like, it could be a hindrance to where my opponent goes up boss to stall. I would need to play switches instead, and it's not disrupting that that much, right? Like, what does Galar Mine really disrupt? Because if we think about it, like, I'm not trapping anything. I'm disrupting their hand because I have, I'm doing 180 damage, so... I'm not trapping a V or something that will retreat or an Intelion or whatever, a Genesect. Well, I guess I could trap a Genesect, but they have Switch anyways, right? So the Galar Mine doesn't really affect. So no, I'm not sold on the Galar Mine. I could just add more consistency. Like, is there any other uh, disruptive supporter, maybe, that I could play? Uh, no, 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 I'm going to do everything in standard, right? Keep it, like, consistent. And then, given how successful this has been and how much I've been enjoying it, if I finish it before um, the V-Stars come out, which I expect it to be done by be, way before then, I'm going to be moving on to a tag team challenge, and that will be done in the expanded format. You know? Yeah, Alma Star is gone, for sure. So is there any other disruptive supporter any other disruptive supporter uh maybe a sydney a cute sydney could be good oh i like that i'm gonna play and i have one exactly i'm gonna add the cute sydney just because i can oh energy search energy search that's the card that's the yeah uh you're not a supporter energy search so actually, with Energy Search, I want to take one of you out, and that gives me one more space again. One Stadium doesn't feel worth it though, does it? This card's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe just one Air Balloon? Maybe a Bird Keeper? No, as long as I manage my bench properly, retreating shouldn't be a problem, right? Two Air Balloons is fine. I'll just add the fourth research for consistency's sake. I will just add the fourth research. Okay, if I do this, oh my gosh, the whole deck gets fixed if I didn't have the, the view, whatever. Okay, so this is the deck, right? This is what we're playing with. 
um, to start off, we need three wins with this. And <laughs> in an ideal world, we can get some cute um, some cute plays with this Sydney. Now, I'm thinking just now Sydney discards stadiums, right? Uh, up to two tool cards, special energies, or stadium. So Sydney actually goes really well with Path to the Peak. But I'm guessing if we can attack twice with Malamar, uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Darkwald, how are you doing? Am I still live? I lost my connection. <laughs> yeah. Am I still live, guys? Are you still here? I got booted out of PTGO. Everything went dark on my Twitch screen. My bitrate says it's unstable. All right. All right. So I, I was going over how um, Sydney could help. Like you discard their stadium in their hand and then you attack with Malamar and you play a path to a peak at the same time. But if you're playing against Mew, then like you should beat them anyways most of the time. I don't know. This is what we're rolling with for now. If we feel like we need path to a peak, we'll add path to the peak. Um, yeah, I like Sydney. I like Sydney as well. All right, cool. Thanks so much guys for being here. Let's start. Three wins to go for Malmar VMAX so far. Yeah. So far. Alrighty. Would you like to go first? Yes, I would. Uh, Mulligan, yeah, Sydney, I like the idea behind Sydney. How often we'll be able to pull it off? Probably not very likely, but it gives us extra uh, peek into their hand, right? And maybe that helps us discard some of the resources that they might have needed to recover, plus the um, card denial from Malamar VMAX. Okay, starting Crobat, <laughs> the wrong dark type Pokemon, but that's okay. Uh, this seems like a manageable deck, honestly, and I'm just gonna start attacking with Crobat. Like, that seems like a viable strategy. Um, the rules still apply, right? I need to take Akeo with Malmar VMAX, at least one for the win to count, but I'm gonna start applying pressure with Crobat. Why not? All right. Okay, so slow start for my opponent, so I'm very glad. And that, okay, so that immediately tells me not to Marnie them because they had such an underwhelming turn one. I would really wish that was Malamar. Then this, like, I'd be close to completing the one, the, the first one <laughs> already. Okay, so establish the Malamar. But I feel like if I attack with Crobat, my opponent might end up conceding. So maybe I wait a turn. Just to give my opponent like... Okay, so I'm actually gonna choose not to attack. Just, I see an opportunity to get a, an easy win here. So I wanna choose not to attack with Crobat this turn because that might prompt a concession and if I get the Lithian here, um, which I do, I'll be able to possibly even pull off the, the Sydney play <laughs> next turn. So I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, based on this hand and that I could need another Malamar, I'm thinking of discarding, it's either the Malamar or the Research here, because I can just search for whatever I need with the Drizzle to get the Lithian. And I really wanna use Sydney next turn. So I'm gonna choose a Malamar. Because my opponent's not threatening a lot, and having a backup Malamar seems like a pipe dream at this point. Um, <laughs> so I'm choosing... The, the challenge rules have successfully... Oh, I can't do Sydney, and I'm out my energy search. 
Oh no, I'm, I'm missing the dark energy. Stupid grass. Um, the challenge rules have actually made it so that I um, changed what I was going to do in this play. Okay. All right, there's wheezing, right? That's okay. That is okay. And we get Mardid, okay, so whatever I was planning, not valid, but I'm closer to attacking with Malmar VMAX, right? So that's always good. No drizzle for me, however, but got the energy, got the Malmar VMAX, and that means if I win this game, challenge will be complete. Um, if I had attacked with Crobat, then I wouldn't have two energies on this Malmar. I wouldn't be anywhere close to um, what I'm about to do. So here comes the hand denial. Here comes the first KO and everything that could lead. I'm not going to bench the Malmar yet because if my bird goes boss, then um, I can just attach retreat and continue to attack. If I bench this Malmar, then they could successfully buy turn. So max jammer and incense scoop up net research and raihan so i would actually like them to discard the raihan and by taking away the evolution incense they're forced to research and they lose all of these options unless they raihan right now but what would you raihan onto right so i'm gonna discard the incense right here and tackbolt sorry i missed your follow thanks so much for the follow Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it is, Sean. It definitely doesn't happen often to me, but... Um, it's very nice when I get Marnied into actually the good cards that I want instead of the bad ones. I am definitely very happy about that. And Fbosca95, thanks so much for the follow as well. Sorry I missed it. Okay, I've been just straight up researched. What was their top deck? Coffin? They top the config. They top decked coughing and chose not to play it. That is peculiar. Um, the issue right now is that I'm dead drawing. But I mean, benching Malamar, attaching to it, having a back of Malamar, never a bad thing. And I have a bunch of good top decks, right? Level balls, instances, drizzles, the supporters that I added. I have four and four, so. Like, the game's not over, I st it's still going to last at least five more turns. Moltres is a big issue, Sableye is, could potentially be a big issue, but the Hand Denial could be really good here. Okay, so you choose to evolve now, which is peculiar. Mm hmm. Oh, they top deck the boss, but they didn't have. So where did the coughing come from? No, but you're right. Oh, that was from the KO. Huh. I'm confused because they had they had wheezing, they had right hand, they had scoop up net. Did they have coughing? No. These were their four cards, right? And incense. So how did these two get in there? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, please top deck Marnie. Oh, they have two drizzles, right? That'd be really cool <laughs> to top deck Marnie right here, but it's okay. Um, so I won't be able to delay them. So now I have two drizzles. Uh, oh no, wait, they only have one drizzle. They have the Clara. So what do I want at the bottom of the deck? I guess the level ball. Does it even matter here? Does it even matter? I don't think it does. I mean, the Clara stops them from getting back the... the Hoopa. Okay, if I keep the Clara in their hand, though, I only want them to have one option, right? So, if they keep the Clara in their hand and they choose to... that might prompt them to Marnie instead of Research, and I wouldn't mind that at all. It matters? Why would it matter? I forgot what I put at the bottom. Why would it matter? Um, yeah, they can drizzle for Clara, true. So why would the level ball matter there? 
like the, their, their deck is now shuffled so the drizzle is no longer at the bottom but they were going to search yes let's go <laughs> let's go who cares one game one win with Malamar. <laughs> let's go two more wins to go I mean, it's very nice to get these um, early wins just because... Why am I so green today? Uh, just because we... Like, it's so hard to win with these decks, right? So, livable or drizzle was correct, right? Yeah. Yes, one victory. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty happy about that. <clears throat> GG. I think... Not attaching to the Crobat ended up being the the good decision overall because my opponent's hand was actually not that weak, and um, it led to the turn to Mal turn three Malamar Vmax. Whereas if I attached to a Crobat, they would have poisoned me. I would have attacked them, attached, then they would have attacked me again. I would have attached, attacked, and then like it would have been so delayed, you know. And I potentially delayed other things as well okay i'm going second oh this hand is questionable i'm going to start with a leafian as a as a um like deceptive thing you know let's say deceptive thing all right duraludon v not the metal type duraludon so this is going to be like a back and forth. Darn, this stupid grass once again is hurting me. Like I can't go below, I can't go to two grass, can I? That would feel a little like greedy. Um, okay, my Lithian should be safe here. I might even have time to use uh, keep calling. <laughs> Uh, th if this was a dark dude, if this was a dark energy, I'd have my Malmar VMAX ready. And that would be so good. I mean, I have a bunch of good top decks, I guess. Drizzle, 4 Drizzle, 4 Level Ball, 4 Incense, 4 Research, 4 Marnie. That's 24 cards already. Plus 7 Dark. That's 31 cards. Yes! Let's go! Dude, Malmar is so broken. <laughs> I also think the energy acceleration through Lithian is definitely underexplored at this point in time. And I think there's a lot of potential that not many people are seeing there. What the heck is this hand now? <laughs> what the heck is this hand actually? Uh, I mean, it's nice, but not great. Okay, I'll bench. No, I'm not going to bench this hole, because if I get Crobat, then I need the other spot for Malamar, right? Because this is permanent now. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And... Ooh, the fighting. Absolutely the fighting. Okay, they're probably going to try and stall with boss, so I'm really glad I didn't bench the Malamar. And the fighting prevents them from getting closer to being ready to attack. So, let's go. <laughs> So the right play for my opponent this turn is to attach an energy to the Zeralodon. Therefore, once I knock it out, they can right hand. Or they can top deck Avery as well. Another good reason not to have benched. Well, actually, no. If I bench the Malmar and they play Avery, then the Leafian goes down. Okay, but they made the wrong decision right here. Okay, now I'm going to bench because I do want the energy attachment. They made the wrong decision not to attach here. So now they're... Um, the right hand should not activate. And they have Avery again. They do have right hand, but they don't have energy to discard Bao. Um, so, what is the play here? I think it's the boss. I don't want to be disrupted, right? This could hurt me later, though. I actually want them to discard the boss. You'd expect them to discard everything with research, right? So maybe it's just the energy. Like, I want them to lose everything that they have in their hand right now. And benching this guy seems okay, because now I get two prizes, which there's a drizzle, perfect. 
and my opponent's happy about something, but I'm gonna get another Malamar VMAX powered up, and in the grand scheme of things, should be good-ish, unless they bench a third Duralodon and manage to get a Duralodon VMAX powered up. Uh, they top deck the fighting, which at that point I expected them to get it. Uh, they bench the station, which is not ideal. Ooh, hammers. I forgot to take those into account for sure. No drought on VMAX. That is absolutely huge. Okay. Seishin is not a threat. Seishin is not an issue. I'm absolutely going to go boss attack that guy. Absolutely no questions asked. Boss, get the first hit into the Duraludon and apply the pressure. What? Oh, did I not add boss to the deck? <laughs> I did not add boss's orders to the deck, did I? I'm pretty sure I did not add boss's orders to the deck. Oh boy, this is embarrassing. I am very sure <laughs> I did not add boss's orders to the deck. Okay, so I actually want access to this Intillions to pick off the station after it goes down. I also don't have stadiums. Oh my gosh. Wow, no wonder I could fit in everything. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. Um, uh, what was his name? <laughs> no boss and no stadiums. I need either or, right? <laughs> well, I mean, we're here for the content, right, guys? We are here for the high quality content, and that includes bloopers. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that could actually end up costing me the game. Okay, Max Jammer. And I have the back-to-back -back Marnie. Uh, yes. Get rid of your Duraludon. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I won a game without boss, yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is on you, chat. Like, where's the, where's the backseat gaming, you know? Where's the backseat gaming that everyone talks about? What does this do? Should I be worried? No. Okay. All right. I feel like with two Malmar VMAXs against their one VMAX, I should be able to win, right? Okay, so they played a bunch of cards. They have three new cards. I don't think I should Marnie here. Because if I was a good Pokemon player, I would know what their last card is. I mean, I'm going to see it anyways, right? So what I'm worried, is, what I'm worried about right now are hammers. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, like missing this attachment could be detrimental if I whiff, um, if they flip heads on hammers at some point, like a crazy double hammer turn or something, or even one could be bad. So I'm actually gonna choose to discard you. Definitely don't need you. Definitely don't need you. Uh, I have two Marnies left. I only have two energies left, what? Why? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have one, one darkness prized. I'm gonna choose to research here, just to give myself more options. And I really want to get to the Intellions. There we go. I really, really wanted to get to the Intellions and the attachments. I have another energy. On average, I should like my opponent shouldn't flip enough things to. Um, like beat me up this adds 10 damage so it's actually probably not worth it i mean but i guess it counters the healing so that's something i guess so max jammer ko <laughs> oh no they have the right wait oh oh they do have energy in the discard well darn it so i guess i should discard the right hand so that they don't search for anything well yeah, it's, they don't thin, right? So I have one Duraludon and that's it. Oh, I can't believe I don't have boss. This game would be over if I had boss. Hey Ryan, how are you doing? Attach to the active to ensure you've got back-to-back -back attacks. I mean, I only don't have back-to-back -back attacks if they flip two hammerheads, right? 
Um, which is a risk I'm willing to take, I guess, at this point. Though, maybe it was better. Like, if they flip hammers and then remove the energy and attack the active, I'd be in the, in the sort of same spot. Okay, I get to play Sydney. Probably doesn't matter. <laughs> now I should protect myself, right? From potential hammers and keep an energy for um, discarding purposes. But, I don't know. On paper, I feel like I should have this one. I'm just gonna play the Sydney just because I can. Two switches and a Duraludon. I don't want my opponent like trying to buy time, especially when I don't have boss. Because <laughs> if they go bench Duraludon and switch, that would buy them an extra turn. So I'm just gonna put the Duraludon at the bottom because I don't have boss's orders. Two for two. Let's go. <laughs> what is this? What a start. What a start to the live stream. Yes. Yes. Beautiful victory screen. Dude, I win more with these. Like, I'm winning more with Malamar than in the last Jolton video I recorded, I think. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Let's add boss's orders to the deck, please. Please, Pablo. We need two boss's orders in the deck. Why is this deck so good? I have no clue. <laughs> I actually have no clue. Okay. Yeah, no wonder I could fit Sydney, dude. I'm not playing boss. Okay, I think mm, my starts have been quirky, to say the least. I'm gonna get rid of one scoop up net. And maybe the Sydney. Maybe. Well, let's do one right hand, actually. Let's do one right hand. Let's be fancy and keep the Sydney for now. Like, if I pull a Sydney play, that, like, that'll go viral on Twitter or something. I don't know. All right. One more win somehow. <laughs> I expected Malamar to take. Well, no, I'm I'm not gonna jinx it, guys. I'm not going to jinx it. Um, <laughs> I am not going to jinx it. All right. I would like to go first. Thank you very much. <coughs> Mulligan. We both get no basics, so that's good. Evens out. Evens out. And another one for me. Mm, okay, so we're up against Rapid Strike Urshi. Probably not winning this, unless they dead drop, or unless I get some really clutch um, Malamar VMAX um, energy, like stop denial. Uh, um, no, no Leafian though, no Leafian, but we'll stay in it, right? I have two Leafians and four Quick Balls as top decks, not quite, attach, maybe I can be annoying with Dragoth at some point, we'll see, at least I'm not weak to fighting, right? That's the good part, okay, that stadium is staying there forever which i should take advantage of if i can Ooh, the turn one marnie with nothing so two researchers do go to the bottom i'm not threatening anything next turn unfortunately but my opponent doesn't bench on urshifu i'm like happy with that though any energy works right for them any energy works the drag off is completely useless in fact no energy, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am absolutely not <laughs> going to Marnie. Absolutely not going to Marnie, my opponent's two card hand. I'm just gonna double air balloon right here, research, and hope I get attachment. Or even, now I can get the quick wall, and that would make up for it. But getting actually getting Leafian plus an attachment would be the ideal scenario and that's exactly what i get perfect sydney sydney getting rid of rapid strike energies could actually be something to think about so if i accelerate energy right now with raihan i mean with lithian i think i can absolutely afford to discard the raihan so now i know i don't have access to raihan ever but that's okay and we'll just go ahead and greening cells. I'm not benching the Malamar so that I don't get 
uh, locked off of a boss, I will bench it next turn, but not right now. Especially since I'm down all my herbalums. Wow, I can't. I I would have never. Hey, Vodka, thank you so much for the good luck challenge. Um, I never in my life. Oh, nice. Never in my life would I have imagined being this excited at playing Malamar Vmax. <laughs> never. Okay. Dude, now is the best time possibly for Sydney. But the issue is if I search for the Malamar Vmax with this, then I'm dead drawing. That makes me sad. Search for an energy. Search for an energy. Search for an energy. Search for a rapid strike energy. No, that's not the rapid strike energy. Okay. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, absolutely, Barney, right? It's too bad they can search for stuff with this, but. All right. So, well, incense, that was a very, very good top deck. Um, if this is Melanie, then actually they don't play bosses orders, so that's really good for me. That is really good. Okay, I I've never, <laughs> I have never in my life been this excited about playing Malamar V Max. Four win streak with a path build. Okay, eliminate ten with Malamar V Max. Nice. <laughs> Okay, this is not the dude that I wanted to get. I wanted the other one to start like piling up a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Uh, nothing I really need, right? So it's just time to max jammer and... Well, uh, they have level ball and drizzle. So limit them to one, right? Limit them to one. Ah, oh, darn, they got both. <laughs> All right, we got our first, our first prize here. Double Urshifu now in session. Oh, like I'm trying to think how I'm going to win this. I'm not super sold <laughs> on the fact that I could win this, but we'll see. We shall see. I might need to make like I might need them to whiff that one turn, you know? That one key turn, I might need them to whiff. Okay, so it's a good thing that this Intellion is gone. Telescopic side for Malamar might get wrecked on the bench. So you do have six prizes on the bench, actually. Darn. All right, so we see the incense. So they can search for the energy most likely. Yeah, so 180 to Lithian and 180 to this guy. Uh, the tool scrapper is gone, so I cannot deny that. Going after the two drizzles seems like not a bad play. Ah, uh, Protissimo. So if I make a KO with Lithian, it would count as the rules are. I need at least one prize card must have been taken by the VMAX. Okay, that is a rule. As long as I keep that rule, if I end up attacking with Lithian at some point, it will count. Okay, but that is a rule. Um, okay, so based on this... Like, if they KO both of these guys, that's four prizes, and then they KO this, like... It seems like evolving my Intellions seems like that should be my priority. <laughs> do I wanna... I, I think I'm gonna do this for the content, honestly. I think I'm gonna do this for the content. Because <laughs> imagine if I discard an energy. Let's just do it. No, come on. Okay, well, they only have Marnie, so that could be good for us. All right, so I'm going to evolve to protect. It's more to protect than anything. Um. Okay, and then 
this as well. So the issue is if they have the other Intellion, they can just knock out my Leafian and get access to two prize cards. And they can search for the Leafian with Octillery. The Sydney play was unsuccessful. Um, there's no way the game lasts six turns, right? So I feel like just piling up the damage there seems good. And then let's make sure to thin. Um, I'll grab the Leafian. I'm not getting Crobat anytime soon, right? I didn't get an energy attachment this turn, but obviously my active Pokemon is not in any way, shape, or form threatened at the moment. So goodbye to your Marnie. What do you top deck, Metalhead? KO the Octillery? I could have KO the Octillery. Maybe that was better. Right, delay, delay their search, or take away their search. But like, what can they search for right now? Energy? Um, like one, they can search for Rapid Strike Energy, they hit the active for 30. They decide to attach it to their Shifu, yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Three for three? What the heck? What the heck? Dude, what? <laughs> How are we done with Malamar? In under an hour, requiring three wins. Under 45 minutes even. What the heck? Just happened. <laughs> I am... Incomplete. I am shocked. I am shocked, but I am also very happy. All right. Uh, <laughs> so that settles Malamar. I was not expecting to be done this soon. Best deck in the format confirmed, indeed. <laughs> and I will uh, be right back in just a second after this quick commercial break in order to. Um, start our Copraja VMAX road, all right, which requires to win. Be right back.